we're going to go over how to trade the control point. Now, if you're looking on a crude, there'll be a second test control at 58, and I got really good support at 42. 42, 46 is a good area down here. 42, 46, keep an eye on this level. Right there, 42, 46. This will be a second test area on crude also. Minor resistance on the second test area. We know how to trade that with the momentum indicator. But this is your strong area this morning. So heads up at that uh, 40 to 46 level. We'll go over that in a second. I want to go over gold real quick. If you, if you want to know how to trade the system with trend, fire over to gold real quick. I'll show you this beautiful trade on gold that just developed. And we use three charts on any different market that we use. We use this black chart, which is the market profile chart. There's three solid levels that we look at. It's very, very important. And these are the volume profile levels. And if we look what we have, we have a solid red, a solid blue, and a solid green line. This is how you want to set your trades up on all markets right across the board. Because what happens is this volume profile, these volume profile solid blue, red, and green levels will dictate support and resistance, major support and resistance on any market, all futures, stocks, currency, etc. The blue line is the most volume that's traded in the session from when I'm profiling the market. I don't use a standard 30-minute market profile. I use a more of a longer-term profile. So what I like to look at, this blue level, or this blue line, is the control point. That will be major support and resistance for any market that you are trading. And what you do, if the market is trending down, you look for a break of that level. You look for a break of it. Oops, wait one sec. You look for a break of it, and then you look for a retest of it. And then you'll look for a continuation. So break, it broke through. You'll look for a retest of that level. Once it retests that level, you look for negative market delta on my gray chart over here, and look at the big trade. That's called an ABC pattern or a one, two, three pattern. We don't trade this blue line if the market is flat. We only sell the high of HVA and buy the low of LVA if the trend filter is flat. If the trend filter is angled, you can see it's angled down. If it's angled, the magenta MA. We don't use MAs for support and resistance. We use them for trend direction. If it's angled down, we're going to sell break retest of control, a retest of HVA, or a break retest of LVA. So if we're trending down, we only have a couple possibilities. We come up to volume profile, red, HVA, and sell the high when it comes up to the two ticks, comes within two ticks. Or if the control breaks, we let it break, retest, sell it. Or if it comes down to LVA, we don't buy LVA. We let it break, retest, and go short on LVA also. So those are only the possibilities you have in a trend market. You can trade off every single one of those levels, red, blue, and green. Blue will dictate all the volume coming in the market, all hedge funds, prop firms, amateur traders, professional traders, etc., and creates natural support and resistance with trend. So if I'm trending down, I want the market to break through the control point, like it did, retest it within a couple ticks, which it did. It's got to come within a couple ticks. It can't be five, ten ticks away. It's got to be within two or three ticks of it. Once it comes within two or three ticks, I'm going to look at my gray chart over here and see a negative market delta. Now, anything over 50 on gold is a huge sell imbalance. We had negative 72 is a number on gold. So that said, to go short, the live fill was 101.30. So 101.30 was the live fill. So that's a $300 trade per one contract, potential risking maximum $130 risk because we put our stop loss two ticks above that swing high after entry. 
So your entry is the close of the red market delta bar. Your stop is two ticks above the swing high. And that's how we use it. So that's how you use the black chart with market delta. Now, we do have the white chart in the middle. The white chart shows two more market profile levels. These are developing. They're different than the solid blue, red, and green, meaning they're calculated different. The same terminology, though, low value is green, high value red. The best way to trade this, if the market's trending down on the white chart, if the market is trending down, you want to see a breakthrough low value. Look for the first retracement. So it'll be a break. Same exact thing, retest. Look for the first Fibonacci dots to fire with trend. It broke through low value. That told you it weakened the market. Look at the same pattern. Break, retest control, break LVA, retest first Fibonacci dots. So the Fibonacci dots, I don't trade all the Fib dots that come up on the, on the system. I don't like to trade the ones that are first breaking through HVA or LVA off this white chart. Now what happens is you'll get them firing off exactly when you're testing my volume profile. So that's called confluence or what we call a stack level. Not only did I break through the control point, I retested the control point. Consequently, I broke through the low value area. I, I looked for the first retracement. My Fibonacci dots came up. The market weakened because it broke through the low value area. This suggests a continuation of trend. And you have a nice confluence trade. Look how they match up. Fib dots came exactly in the retest the control. And then lastly, the market delta gave us a negative 72. So if you look what I'm doing, I'm doing a left to right analysis. I don't look at the market delta first. I don't care about order imbalances. Because if I, if I don't have market profile, one of these two charts setting the market up, it doesn't matter about market delta to the far right about order imbalances. They are irrelevant. Doesn't mean a lot to me. However, what I like to do, the order of importance is this. I have the black chart first, the white chart, then I have the market delta. So I got volume profile, my solid levels. I'm making them real big for you on your own computer or in the room. You can see them. It's not hard. You can see the big inflection points they create. Stop to the exact tick up here within one tick here. So very, they're very, very accurate because they dictate the order flow of the market. These are not lagging indicators, very leading. So they dictate the order flow of the market. So when you see them fire off, these will move when price moves. Now how we trade them is we will trade them when they move the price and they stop moving. And once they stop moving, you look for the first buy or sell retracement. And they should dictate order flow on a daily basis on any given market because it's actually looking at the order flow of the overall market that you are trading. Okay? So the first thing we look for is trend. Look at the trend filter. When you first log in on any system, you look at the trend. If trend is angled down, trend filter angled down, look for a break retest of the control. Break retest of LVA or retest of the HVA. We don't buy low value area, this green level, in a downtrend. We know better. We're more knowledgeable about market profile than that. We're not buying low value right here. We don't buy this little bounce here. We don't care about this bounce or this bounce or this bounce. If the market is angled down, we're looking for a break retest of control break retest of HVA or a retest of high value in a downtrend within a couple of ticks. That's the only possibility you have in a downtrending market. The opposite would be in an uptrending market. You would look for a retest of the control, a buy of LVA or a breakout of HVA. So to make it simple for you in the trading plan is if I put them all in a row, what you look for in a downtrending market, you look for a break retest of the control like this or a break retest of the LVA volume profile. 
or you look for the market to come all the way back up, test HVA, and then you look for a sell-off. Those are the only three scenarios you have with volume profile in a downtrending market. You just got to remember, you don't buy low value in a downtrend. That's for amateur traders. Don't let them, don't let them fool you. It's a break retest of control. I mean, of LVA or break retest of control or a retest of HVA. Now, just remember, if we log in tomorrow and the market's flat as a pancake, meaning my trend filter is horizontal, we'll sell the high of HVA, we'll buy the low of LVA on the first and second test, and then we'll let it break retest. The market can only do two things every day. It can trend or chop in the history of the market. If we're trending down, we sell break retest, break retest. So HVA, trending up, break retest, break retest, buy LVA. It's the best way to trade it, okay? <clears throat> And we use market delta fires in the trade with stop two ticks above the swing high. 